Hi, welcome to Sapphire Ring Company. After so many requests from customers, we decided to create educational video series. These series will help individuals to learn about sapphires and rubies in depth, where we will explain important information on sapphires and rubies and the two main differences between a truly natural sapphire and a treated sapphire which has been chemically enhanced by man. Today almost all sapphires and sapphire jewelry, seen online as well as in retail brick and motor stores, who describe a natural sapphire are not truly natural. Sadly, with new techniques in treating sapphires and rubies, most of these sapphires will have been enhanced. These natural sapphires are usually not accompanied by proper disclosure regarding the treatments the gemstone has undergone. The word natural is intended to identify sapphire crystals that have come from the ground, not synthetically created. What is most likely to be left out in the full description is the fact that the color and clarity indicated as natural is really not just natural, in almost all cases the color and clarity of the sapphire will come from various treatments that you may very well not be aware of. Today it's estimated that 80% of sapphires sold as natural have been chemically enhanced. A natural sapphire is a sapphire crystal that has been created in the ground the color has not been altered chemically or added to by diffusion or cooking the sapphire to extreme temperatures of around 1,800 degrees Celsius, and then enhanced chemically with treatments such as beryllium. Note, some natural sapphires can have traces of beryllium in them naturally. The GIA is carrying out extensive testing to see why and how this can occur naturally, which we will always show with our full laboratory report with a certified sapphire, if applicable. These sapphires are extremely rare and to date, we have left all of these sapphires with the GIA for further education and testing. Treating and heating a stone is a very involved process that can significantly change the original appearance as well as the value of the rough corundum sapphire that came out of the ground. By using very high temperatures in gas furnaces, these stones are heated for a period of up to 10 days at and above the melting point of the crystal, 1,800 degrees Celsius additives such as lead glass and coloring agents can be included in the heating process in order to fill in natural cavities, fissures, and cracks in the sapphires. Coloring agents are then diffused into the heating process and, in many cases, the coloring of the sapphire is completely altered. Trying to determine what you are buying is now a scientific research project in most cases and this is why Sapphire Ring Company uses the top gem laboratories for full gemstone identification and testing here in the US. Almost all of our sapphire rings come with a GIA report, this allows you to buy with confidence knowing the sapphire ring you have chosen is a true natural stone. How Sapphires Are Measured Precious gemstones vary in density, for example when comparing a diamond and a sapphire of the same size, the sapphire will be heavier due to its larger density. Gemstones are often classified by carats, which is a unit of weight, but for ease of selection and setting, size is a more useful measurement for sapphires, which we list in millimeters mm. Our standard size for a round sapphire is 6 half mm, which is approximately 1 carat. Sapphire with no heat, versus sapphires with natural heat only. Today it is estimated that around 10% of natural sapphires are unheated. However for us at Sapphire Ring Company, we buy our sapphires before the sapphires leave the island of Sri Lanka. As a result, today, we estimate that 30% of our sapphires are without heat. Our decision when buying any natural sapphire, whether the sapphire has no treatment or natural heat only, is purely based on the color of that sapphire, followed by clarity and inclusions found in that one gem. Almost 80% of a natural sapphire's value whether the sapphire has no heat or natural gentle heat is based on the color of the sapphire. Even natural heated sapphires with visible inclusions can be very valuable if the color is in the top rich royal blue, red, pink, purple, and pure yellow. This might come as a surprise, but the cut of sapphire is less important today. Sapphire Ring Company will have many of our sapphires recut and or repolished here in the United States as well as Sri Lanka depending on that one sapphire's cut or polish at the time. There is a misconception that a sapphire with no heat is more valuable than a sapphire with heat. If you took two identical sapphires in cut, clarity, and color, and then heat one sapphire with natural gentle heat only, then left the second sapphire as an unheated stone, if the clarity and color of the natural sapphire improved after being heated with natural heat. The sapphire which is now a naturally heated, 
would become more valuable than the sapphire which was left without heat. Let's see these two sapphires. The sapphire on the left is a 3.25 carat, natural sapphire oval cut, with no heat, the sapphire on the right is natural 3.05 carat sapphire with natural, gentle heat only. As the color on the sapphire with natural heat only has improved in clarity as well as color. The value of this sapphire is higher than the sapphire on the left with no heat. Up to 80% of the value of a sapphire is based on color alone. Taking care of a sapphire and ruby. Sapphires that have been treated with natural heat only is a permanent treatment, they will not fade, crack, or come off. Even if the sapphire needs to be repolished or cut, will never change the color of the sapphire. The care of a sapphire whether the sapphire is heated or with no heat is the same as a diamond. Sapphires are extremely hard second only to the diamond in harness. At the Sapphire Ring Company, we will only sell 100% natural mine sapphires, with no heat or gentle natural heat only. Naturally heating a sapphire at low temperatures has been a process that dates back thousands of years and helps improve the sapphire's clarity and sometimes color. We always disclose this treatment, and this is the only treatment where a sapphire retains its high value. Natural gentle heat is regarded as the only treatment both by jewelers, gemologists as well as the National Gem Association. Thank you very much for watching the video, if you like the information we just shared, please give us a like and let us know about your feedback. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please subscribe now to see more educational videos.